There's been a lot of discussion regarding propofol. How exactly to use it and is it considered safe in any setting except a hospital or a medical setting? So I decided pictures are worth a thousand words. I'm going to take you inside my operating room to show you firsthand what really happens. Come on in. So we are here inside the operating room with Dr. Gershon, who's a chief of anesthesiology here. Propofol is a medication he uses all the time. So is this it right over here? Yeah. It looks uh, like milk of amnesia, they call it. Milk of amnesia. Vincent, you okay? We have to monitor his EKG, we have to monitor his end tidal CO2, we have to make sure that he's breathing, we have to see his saturation, we have to make sure he's ventilating. So these are all, that's all typical stuff that's anytime you use these standard medications. Standard of care, yes. Okay, so the propofol. We're going to start infusing this. You're going to get a little sleepy, Vincent. Okay, give me some good deep breaths. So watch this go and take a look at his eyes, how quickly this. Deep breath, Vincent. Doing great. May feel a little burning, okay? 10, 9, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There's a reason for his heart rate increasing. I have to switch hands. Uh-huh. So what you see, his eyes is closed. So his eyes closed, and what else are you no, looking for? I will for? look up here. His, he stopped breathing. So this is watching his end tidal CO2, and he's not breathing anymore, and my wonderful nest is it's going to help him breathe. So take a look over here. That All the breathing right now is taking place with this bag and this mask. From that medication, he wouldn't be able to breathe on his own without those things. Well, there you can see part of the problem. Just with that much propofol there, uh, he stopped breathing, and he's going to need a breathing tube. Easy? Easy. Good. Good. What, what, what's so attractive about this medication? Well, people, it's really been in the advent in the last 10 years or so, even more, 15 years, and it's just basically a quick on, quick off. And that may answer why people may think that this is something they could do at home, because if it gets out of hand, it goes away quickly. But the problem is it gets out of hand, and there's nobody there to resuscitate you, then nobody could bring you back. So that was, that was pretty quick. You just gave some of the medication, you're going to touch it. Five, ten minutes. Five, ten minutes, he's gone from being completely awake to completely asleep. He's not breathing. I'm breathing for him. One thing that's worth pointing out is that uh, this is a hospital that uses this medication thousands and thousands of times a year, but they do use this medication in non-hospital settings like outpatient clinics. The doctors here will tell you they've never heard of it being used in a home.